British thing about me is my love of a cup of tea, English tea. What a British person can't live without is a pair of Wellington boots because it never is sunny and it's always raining. The joy is in designing for me is the fact that because I'm an independent company and not been eaten by those big monster companies that I can be free to make all my decisions and if I want to design a, a shirt with flowers, no problem. If I wanted to make a shirt like this, no problem. And if I wanted to make a white shirt like this, I can. I think I would probably be doing this job here because uh, my father was an amateur photographer and so I started taking photographs when I was 11 years old and um, I liked it very much and I, I actually shot a lot of my advertising campaigns for Paul Smith. Um, of course you maybe know that I used to be a racing cyclist when I was a teenager but now I'm very old, so I wouldn't be able to do that anymore. Oh, now in fashion is uh, so strange and so traumatic and so confused and the masses of sportswear at the moment, masses of uh, logo and monogram and I don't know what will happen, whether it will continue like that or, or no idea. Well, I think if, if it were time travel to do with my, in, my uh, job as a, a designer, I mean, I think 20 years ago, it was more about uh, having an idea in your head and your heart, and it was a matter about self-expression. But now we have to think about everything that's happening in the world and trends and new new fabrics, new markets, so it's a very different. So I'd probably go back 20 years and then I'd be fine. <laughs>